Hello everyone! This video is part of a series of quick start guides to designing for the CNC Mill 1 using Onshape and Kirimoto. To start off, you'll need some stock material and an end mill that works with your design. I have a poplar board that I purchased from Home Depot, and today we will be using the 2mm corncob end mill. Use a caliper or measuring tape. Measure the dimension of your stock material. Measure the length and diameter of the flute, and the length and diameter of the shaft. You can always use Google to convert your units. Open the app and log in. If you haven't done so already, go to onshape.com and register for a free account. On the dashboard, you will find previous projects that you've worked on. You can also browse public projects that others have made. Click the Create button and select Document to create a new project. This will take you to the Design Studio interface. This cloud software will automatically save your changes, so next time you can reopen the latest version of this project from any computer or browser. So here we have a trimetric view of the X, Y, and Z planes. With your mouse, left click selects the item on the design space. Right click rotates the view. And the scroll wheel allows you to pan and translate the view by scrolling and clicking. On the top right corner, there's a cube and a menu that will help you rotate your project view to the desired orientation. Select the surface you wish to sketch on. As this is a 3D image, we have to tell the software where to start. So I'm going to select the top surface and click Sketch. The top menu is now replaced with the Sketch menu. We'll start with the circle. I'm going to use the center point method. I want my coaster to be 5 inches in diameter. Once you've made a circle approximately the size you want, use the dimension function to define its actual size. The circle will resize to match. Select the check mark to confirm your changes. Great! Let's go back to the trimetric view. Next, we'll use the extrude function to turn this 2D circle into a 3D plate. Select the surface you wish to extrude and click Extrude. We'll be making a new extrusion. Here, it previews the direction of the extrusion. Click the arrow to flip its direction. Change the depth to your desired height. You can make the coaster thinner than the stock if you want, but I'm pretty happy with my poplar board's thickness, so I will enter the dimension here. Okay, now we have the exact shape of the coaster. Let's add the totally awesome CNC logo. Select the top surface for our new sketch. By now, you'll notice that a bunch of layers have been created and can be seen on the left. You can go back and make edits to them by right-clicking. So now, let's draw the outer border of the logo. The diameter of my end mill is 2 millimeters, so take note that we can't make details smaller than this. This time, I'm just going to eyeball my circle. Then I will create the second inner circle by using the offset function. Select the circle and click the offset function. Click the arrow to change the direction of your offset. Press enter once and enter the offset distance in inches before pressing enter again to confirm. Next, we need to draw in the lines of the logo. Now, I'm not very good at drawing perfect triangles, so I'm going to use the polygon tool as a guide for the center triangle. Again, feel free to eyeball this. Here, you will see a dashed circle and solid lines for triangles. The dashed lines are construction lines to be used as reference, but they will not be included as a part of the final model. You can interchange them with this function up top. Let's add the shorter lines at each junction. The circle here will help us draw them as they are perfect tangents to the circle. Next, we will use the extend function to extend the lines to the circle. 
select the line to be extended and click where you want as the limit. All right, so remember how I said my end mill is two millimeters wide? Well, this line is zero millimeters thick. So let's use the offset tool and offset each line by one millimeter on both sides. All right, after cleaning up the lines a bit, we'll use the trim function to remove the excess lines where they intersect. This time, we will use the extrude function to remove the material from the surface. Select from the remove menu Click the design and enter the depth of material to be removed. The next step here is optional as some of you may prefer sharp, crisp edges. We'll use the fillet function to round off the edges just a tiny bit. Select the surfaces with sharp edges that you want to round off and click fillet. Adjust the fillet radius until you're happy with it. All right, feel free to rotate the model and admire your new coaster design. I'll see you in the next video where we'll play around with the endmill settings in Kirimoto to make this coaster a reality.